open it. Don't. We've got to see if this. I any... know. But not just yet. Let's stay this way for a minute. time. It's the darkness that's got you down. Nobody ever feels really safe in the dark. Nobody who's ever a child, that is. I'll open these, all right? There, that's much better. What a lovely evening. Pity we, we couldn't have done it with the curtains open and the bright sunlight. Well, you can't have everything. And we, we did do it in the daytime. All right now, Philip? Yes. Good. You, you better put those away. Put them in my checkbook drawer behind that metal box. now. We really should preserve it for posterity, except it's such good crystal and I'd hate to break up the set. Out of this, David Kentley had his last drink. It should have been ginger ale or even beer. I've always thought it was uh, out of character for David to drink anything as, as corrupt as whiskey. Out of character for him to be murdered, too. <laughs> yes, wasn't it? The good Americans usually die young on the, on the battlefield, don't they? Well, the Davids of this world nearly occupy space, which is why he was the perfect victim for the perfect murder. Of course, he, uh, he was a Harvard undergraduate. <laughs> that might make it justifiable homicide. He's dead and we've killed him. But he's still here. In less than eight hours, he'll be resting gently but firmly at the bottom of a lake. Meanwhile, he's here. What are you doing? It's not locked. All the better. It's much more dangerous. A anyway, the lock's too old. It won't work. I wish it would. I wish we had him out of here. I wish it was somebody else. It's a trifle late for that, don't you think? Uh, whom would you have preferred? Kenneth? Oh, I don't know. I suppose anyone was as good or as bad as any other. You, perhaps. You frightened me. You always have. From that very first day in prep school. Part of your charm, I suppose. I, I'm only kidding, Brandon. I, I obviously can't take it as well as you, so I'm turning on you a little. It's rather foolish, isn't it? Yes. Very. May I have a drink now? By all means. This is an occasion. It calls for champagne. Champagne? I put some in the icebox. When did you put it there, Brad? Oh, just before David arrived. You were certain it would come off, weren't you? Of course. You know I'd never do anything unless I did it perfectly. I've always wished for more artistic talent. Well, murder can be an art, too. The power to kill can be just as satisfying as the power to create. Do you realize? 
realize we've actually done it exactly as we planned. And not a single infinitesimal thing has gone wrong. It was perfect. Yes. An immaculate murder. We've killed for the sake of danger and for the sake of killing. We're alive. Truly and wonderfully alive. Even champagne isn't equal to us or the occasion. I'll take it, though. You're not really frightened anymore, are you, Philip? You can't have fear, you know. Neither of us can. That's the difference between us and the ordinary man, Philip. They talk about committing the perfect crime, but nobody does it. Nobody commits a murder Here. just for the experiment of committing it. Nobody except us. <clears throat> You're not frightened anymore, are you, Philip? No. Not even of me? 